from the tip of the screwdriver and mark the shank. Next, remove the balance shaft plug on the rear side of the cylinder block and insert the screwdriver in the hole. If the screwdriver can be inserted at least 60 millimeters into the hole, the balance shaft is in the correct position. However, if the screwdriver depth is less than 60 millimeters, 20 to 25 millimeters, the oil pump sprocket must be rotated until the screwdriver can be inserted to the proper depth of at least 60 millimeters. When the balance shaft alignment is achieved with all other timing mark alignments, leave the screwdriver in the balance shaft alignment hole. This balance shaft alignment procedure is critical. It is possible for the oil pump sprocket timing marks to be aligned and have the balance shaft out of phase. This could result in a severe engine vibration. After achieving proper balance shaft and timing alignment, install the new timing belt over the right side intake camshaft sprocket and clamp the belt in position with a clip. Next, use a wrench to maintain alignment of the two camshafts. While maintaining the camshaft alignment, install the timing belt on the exhaust camshaft sprocket and clamp the belt in position with a second clip. Working from the right side, position the timing belt around the idler pulley, around the oil pump sprocket, around the crankshaft sprocket, and finally, around the tensioner pulley. Next, rotate the tensioner pulley in a clockwise direction until tension is applied to the belt and tighten the pulley center bolt. Ensure that all timing belt teeth are properly engaged with the teeth on the camshafts, oil pump, and crankshaft sprockets and that all timing marks are still properly aligned. With the belt installed, remove the two clips from the camshaft sprockets. Next, for 1990 and 1991 vehicles only, remove the oil pump sprocket nut, check its condition, and replace it if necessary. If the condition of the nut is okay, clean and apply Mopar lock and seal to the threads. Reinstall the nut, and torque it to 55 newton meters or 40 foot-pounds. Again, this step does not apply to vehicles covered under customer satisfaction notification 554. Remove the screwdriver from the balance shaft hole and install the plug. The first step in adjusting belt tension is to rotate the crankshaft a one-quarter turn counterclockwise, then rotate it clockwise until the timing marks are aligned again. The crankshaft position should still be at the number one piston, top dead center position of the compression stroke. Next, loosen the tensioner pulley center bolt and attach special tool number MD998752 or MD998767 to the pulley. Using a beam type torque wrench, apply 2.7 newton meters or 24 inch pounds of torque to the pulley. With torque still applied to the tensioner pulley, Tighten the attaching bolt, then torque the bolt to 49 newton meters or 36 foot pounds. If the vehicle body interferes with the special tool or torque wrench, the engine may be raised slightly until there is adequate clearance. Failure to carefully follow this part of the service procedure could cause the belt tension to exceed the range of the auto tensioner limits and result in premature timing belt failure or jumping. After the tensioner pulley has been properly adjusted, slowly rotate special tool MD998738 until it makes contact with the tensioner arm and remove the Allen wrench or pin from the auto tensioner. Next, back off the special tool from the tensioner arm. Now rotate the crankshaft six complete turns until all of the timing marks are once again aligned. At this point, wait 15 minutes to allow the auto tensioner plunger rod to stabilize before performing the next step. With the plunger rod stabilized, measure the distance between the tensioner arm and auto tensioner body using a drill bit or similar tool. The auto tensioner plunger rod position should fall within a specification of 3.8 to 4.5 millimeters or 0.15 to 0.18 inches as seen in this graphic illustration. If the distance between the tensioner arm and auto tensioner body does not fall within the specifications, the timing belt tension must be readjusted. Basically, this means that the special tool MD998738 must be positioned against the tensioner arm. The tensioner pulley must again be loosened 
The auto tensioner must again be placed in the reset position, and the tensioner pulley must again be held at the specified torque with the special tool while the tensioner pulley center bolt is tightened. After achieving proper auto tensioner plunger rod position, remove the special tool MD998738 and install the rubber plug to the inner timing belt cover. Next, install the upper and lower timing belt covers, taking care to install the proper length bolts in the proper locations as noted during disassembly. Install the crankshaft pulley and torque the pulley bolt to 25 newton meters or 18 foot pounds. Install the air conditioning tensioner bracket with AC belt and torque the bracket to 25 newton meters or 18 foot pounds. Next, adjust the AC belt tension to 5.5 to 6.0 millimeters or 3 sixteenths of an inch of belt deflection. Now install the power steering and water pump pulleys. Install the power steering drive belt and adjust it to 7.5 millimeters or 5 sixteenths of an inch of deflection. Install the alternator water pump belt and adjust it to 10 millimeters or 3 eighths of an inch of belt deflection. Next, install the left front engine mount and bracket and torque the fastening nuts and bolts to the specifications detailed in the customer satisfaction notification service procedure or the technical service bulletin. Several different torque specifications are required for the various fasteners. Finally, Remove the engine support fixture and install the lower engine compartment splash shield to complete the service procedure. For 1992 vehicles involved in customer satisfaction notification number 554, dealers are urged to service all customers promptly and courteously and to ensure that this service is performed on all vehicles still in dealer stock. It is important to remember that the two liter dual overhead cam engine covered in this program is not a freewheeling engine. If the camshaft timing belt teeth strip, or if the new belt is not installed correctly, engine damage will result. Therefore, it is very important that the service procedures detailed in this program are followed exactly as they are described. For further information regarding the service procedures detailed in this program, refer to the customer satisfaction notification letter number 554 for 1992 vehicles involved in this notification. For more information regarding all 1990 through late 1992 model year vehicles requiring the 60,000 mile timing belt maintenance service, look for an upcoming technical service bulletin which will be issued in the near future. This bulletin will supersede technical service bulletin number 09-06-92.